Hey, buddies and Victor, it's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. You all did it, Mosh Pit. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, now putting us back on schedule for the like streak goal. 105 over 120. We're get, hey, we're getting down to it. Only 15 more tallies left, and we are ready for the all items tier list live stream, which is going to be quite the endeavor, but also quite the fun. <laughs> Here's your meme of the day, brought to you by TJ Button. And yeah, it was inevitable. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be this good, though. The title, of the, the title of the video or the thread was uh, direct to video dash episode 720 and Invicta presents Fanstabulous. Yep, yep, yep. Now I'm pretty sure that TJ Button didn't edit anything down in the bottom uh, for like the credits and everything. So if you want to go check out the full resolution for that one, definitely go check out the Invicta subreddit. And thank you very much, TJ Button. Fanstabulous. It's oh my goodness. It should definitely be a movie. Uh, well, we're starting with Decap and Polyphemus. Seed Day is going to be Sierra Victor 7, Sierra, uh, Papa Romeo, Mike 4. We've got Polyphemus to start with here, but uh, obviously our tears rate is going to be a little bit of an issue. Um, but of course, when you're dealing this much damage, it usually is not that big of a deal. And of course, we, if we have any problems with uh, close, quarter, or close encounter, uh, close quarter encounter is what I'm trying to say. And we can just simply use decap attack to kind of get them away from us. But yeah, Polyphemus is going to be a huge, huge, huge start for our damage, obviously. Um, even though it does kill our tears rate, it's something that we can sort of compensate for. Um, especially if we end up getting something like Maw of the Void or Mom's Knife. Anything like that would be great. Um, shot speed is also very important for Polyphemus. And of course it has that, what I like to call, get those bingo cards ready. Dun, 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 dun. Pseudo piercing, where we do have kind of a piercing shot, hence the term pseudo piercing. Uh, the shot will go through the original target and then simply continue on with the remaining damage, sort of like a trample effect for Magic the Gathering, and uh, until there's no more damage or until it just runs out of, uh, well, it hits something. So you see right there, we killed that one fly. It passed through, hit the second fly, and then, uh, yeah, that's, that is what pseudo piercing would be. There's a lot of, a lot of Synvictisms that have been coined over the years that I... Uh, that I'm, I'm proud of and not so proud of sometimes because I'm just, I mean, my brain just works in a very weird, mysterious way sometimes. Obviously, with decap attack, we can do this, and that does not that does not move Isaac's hitbox. It simply just removes his head. Um, so if we need to go in there and get some, like, some blocked shots like we just saw right there, we can. Very, very smooth sort of transition for the fight. Um, I mean, member card is okay, but it's not really, like, bomb the donation, donation machine okay. Polly freaking Femus. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen Polly. It's uh, especially on like a Polly Femus start. Like that's like, it's actually, it's actually good and bad in a way. Uh, again, because obviously you have the massive amount of damage, the pseudo piercing from Polly Femus, but you do have to deal, deal with the tears down for quite a while. And if you don't get any tears ups, Polly Femus gets a little bit tricky to, to sort of mess with. Now, this is one of the few times that definitely I would look for like say chocolate milk or even Neptunus. Um, Cursed Eye is even a possibility. I'm not, I wouldn't rule Cursed Eye out, to be honest. And no, I'm not trolling. Like, legit. Like, I think that Cursed Eye and Polyphemus can be okay. But that doesn't mean I'm going to take it. <laughs> I mean, I might take it, I suppose. But we'll see. So, I can't, I, I can never pass this guy, this, this room up here. So, look at that. We get a tears up and a range up. And, uh, still have enough for one more bomb to get a, uh, this Yave here. So that is going to help us out tremendously with our DPS. Now we can sort of consistently fire without having to like pick and choose our shots. Of course, we still want to remain accurate, but as you see right here, we're just one-shotting like everything. Like that uh, Gary Oldman clip from the uh, not the bodyguard. That's bodyguards Whitney Houston and and uh, what's the name Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze was that was that bodyguard? Now now I'm I'm second guessing myself. Uh, yeah, here. The professionals, who, who I mean. He's like, everyone! It's so good because, like, that line comes out of, like, left field. I'm trying to take down John Renault. That was a, that was a good, good flick. I think that was, I'm not sure if that was Natalie Portman's first ever feature film. I think it might have been, but. Yeah. John Renault is Leon. Uh, 
Wouldn't mind getting into the store if we could. Robo Baby 1.0 is fine, of course. You need to go back and go get that. Uh, go back and get this. What was it, the Hangman card, Hermit card? Yeah, yeah. We could. I mean, if we really, really, really wanted to, we could get into the uh, shop via the Hermit card. I don't think that that's necessary though, because we only have four cents. Uh, it would be nice to get Petrified Poop though. We don't have anything in our trinket slot right now, so looking for those early game economy boosts would be nice. I mean, lime horn. So you know, and and you don't don't poo poo decap attack. Decap can do a lot of damage here. It was it used to be actually like technically one of the most broken items in the game, and I mean like technically broken, like like actually broken. You used to be able to throw the decap attack down, and then before the uh, if you if you double tap the. The decap, like, to recall it back before it actually hit the ground. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, yeah, this is going to be strong. I wouldn't mind actually going alt path, but we just we simply just cannot. But Brimstone Polyphemus start. Holy moly. And another Floor 3 Curse of the XL. I feel like this is just getting... This is just the norm at this point. We've been getting nothing but Curse of the XLs on, on floor three and four. It, it's it's honestly like kind of ridiculous how many XL floors we've been getting. Um, anyway, but what you could you what you used to be able to do with decap is you used to be able to, to throw it out and then if you double tap the space ride before the head hit the ground, it would just duplicate Isaac's head and then you would just get this sort of jostling like this sort of jostling multi-headed Isaac Freak thing that would not only block all orbitals, but dealt instant full damage to, like, everything that it touches. That it touched because there's just so many of his heads just kind of, like, floating around and flying all over the place. So that did get that did get fixed. And as hilarious as it was, it was also incredibly broken because Isaac was essentially immortal at that point. You could still technically take damage, but, like, it was, it was kind of dumb. Um, there's the... North side of the map, everybody, and obviously we do not need a whole lot of wind-up time in order to unleash absolute destruction on everything here with Brimstone Polyphemus, and we're just going to find the boss room. All right. So we're hoping for, like, unironically hoping for a couple of HP upgrades here so we can actually get a Devil Deal. A little bit strange that Dark One decided to charge despite us being underneath him. Get blasted down. We get a movement speed upgrade, which is actually completely fine by me. Obviously, tears are going to be a big problem here, but when we do unleash the tears, man, oh man, look out! Yeah, I'm tired of tired of this. No soul hearts to be found, unfortunately. Get Balatar, which has also been showing up quite often lately, and I mean, I'm a, I'm okay with Balatar. Like, I've got no qualms with it. Gives you a nice little slowing creep spread behind Isaac, which is nice. Use a little StarCraft term there. StarCraft 2, like, has been slowly, slowly coming back into into relevancy again in terms of like on Twitch and watchability and, and all this stuff. Like I've been I've been jazzed watching StarCraft and like might even start playing again. And most of it's Husky's fault because like I wasn't even like I wasn't even caring about StarCraft. I haven't been. I haven't cared about StarCraft in a long time, until Husky started posting new videos again. And now, like, I'm like, oh, I wish that we could watch him pro StarCraft. So, like, I, I've been, I've been kind of itching to play something, play some StarCraft. I mean, that, like, that sounds like a fun, fun time to me. And I would not have ever thought about that a couple years ago. I, like, I, I thought I'd never touch StarCraft again, but. Now, I will say that if I ever, if I were to ever go and like ladder or something like that on StarCraft, that would be a, that would be an event <laughs> because I have not played competitive StarCraft and I've, when did I start playing Isaac? 2014? Yeah, that. That's, that's how far back my, uh, my break from Isaac or my break from, uh, StarCraft goes. How did you get over those stones, peep? Now you're in the stones.
Well, we didn't get W anyway. We also didn't get a, an HP upgrade. And I think, yeah, he also, he also fires brimstone. So, okay. But unfortunately we just lost out on two devil deals. But we didn't get a back-to-back -back XL4, which is good. So your soul basically just, it's basically just Incubus and is really like another way of showing off like just how many repeating items we have in Isaac. Cause like how many, how many Incubus like items do we have now? We've got Incubus, of, obviously we have your soul. We've got little Claudie. We've got some Torium, uh, fate and all of them basically do the same thing. And obviously, like, they're not going to be putting out any more updates for this game anymore, which is probably for the better, but maybe also for the worse. Um, because, like, we won't we won't be seeing any new things for for Repentance. Like, Isaac is done now. So, you know, Ed's moved on to Eugenics. And, uh, and then, you know, eventually Isaac, too. So we'll see where, where the future of Isaac holds. But I hope for the next game that uh, we don't have so many repeating items and... Yeah, you know, I hope it's more it's more roguelike. Not that Isaac isn't a roguelite, of course, but you know, I've I've made I, I've made my grievances with repentance very clear. There's the entire map, everybody. Now, this is just an ungodly amount of damage here that that's doubled by uh, your soul. I wonder where the bomb came from, by by the way. It was also from your soul. Uh, we don't really need keys right now, but we could use it for taking a whole bunch of spiders like that and turning them into keys. It's the only real weakness with this build is going to be our tears rate, so we cannot effectively recharge and fire in rapid succession. Uh, but, I mean, you know, anything that we actually hit with our brimstone. Whew. Brother, sister, you better look out. Seems like we're going towards the boss, so I'm going to turn back around and finish the meme and go check out where our item room is. That should be a, that should be another T-shirt. Finish the meme. Say the lines, Invicta. It's a full clear. Yay! We're filling out bingo cards as we speak. Definitely gonna take four and a half volt here. Not that we care about its synergy with uh, the decap. We're just looking to get some kind, any kind of HP generator at this point. Definitely we're short on bombs here. It's also been the norm lately. But despite how powerful we are, like again, we only have two HP y'all. We get this guy. Altar. Blown down bloat a bit. We two shot bloat. We do get meat, which is going to give us an HP upgrade. But we cannot take any of these. Uh, yeah. If we if we had the Leviathan transformation on lockdown, we could. But uh, there was no soul hearts in the store, so we will just head on down. I'm not going to reroll this. No way. There's no way we roll this. So you're seeing how detrimental that curse of the XL was not being able to get not be able to secure essentially what could have been another devil deal which then in turn disallowed us I even see that thing shoot it, it ter in turn disallowed us from getting that devil deal which could have maybe given us the Leviathan transformation um, is just a it's just another problem another example of why of why curse of the XL is just is just so so bad Cannot keep. We cannot take any damage right now, let alone full heart damages from champions. Another one room. Game really wants me to re-roll, and I'm not going to. Okay, we get an eternal heart, which is going to help out a little bit. Oh, 
was uh, that was pretty neat how the how the the spike sort of backed up and then just decided to just go off again. There's our full card, which we will be able to use to get out of boss rush. But we can't. I mean, this this health ain't. It's not. It's not good, y'all. Not good. We've got the power, but we don't have the. Uh, we don't have the survivability right now to to be to be like oh yeah you know we can we can just monologue for the rest of this episode so that's uh, we got we gotta be careful especially when we know this is gonna be a greed fight not a greed fight it's Pandora's box um, I mean this literally just gives us five cents so that we're, I mean, we're we're leaving five cents on the table there. Of course, we could have saved it and gone down to the next floor uh, and gotten a boss item. Or two boss items, but right now the more immediate concern is our HP, or lack thereof. Black Candle, which is going to give us Curse Immunity. Ooh. I would like the Blanket if possible. Because that would give us a Soul Heart and give us the Holy Mantle effect for boss fights. Penny sack. We're ten cents away from getting. Uh, I think that nine cents away from getting the blanket, which again would be very useful. There we go. Okay, we only need four cents now. We got some. We got some early pre-firing spikes here today in the seed. The blue mom, which is probably the worst mom for us to go up against, just because of the, the rapid fire nature that we need to deal with the ads. I so that one I didn't even see where the foot was because of Balatar. And that's the type of damage we cannot afford here. I'm going to take the Polaroid because I don't trust... I, I just straight up just do not trust this run. And, yeah. This is not great. I'm going to take Smart Fly just because of the Elzebub transformation. But outside of our start and Brimstone, we really have not had incredible luck when it comes to these uh, these items here. Yeah, we still do need three more cents. Um... Yeah, that, that spike even pre-fired in the wrong direction. Hopefully he drops a nickel or a dime, and he gets exactly three cents. So we are going to be able to get our uh, our soul heart and our blanket, of course, which would have been very helpful for the blue mom fight. But okay, so we ended up taking Pandora's box and converting it into essentially. Uh, three soul hearts because we got black candle then we got the loose soul heart and then we also just got the blanket I know some people might be disappointed I didn't take the I didn't take the negative here but again you have to part of part of Isaac and part of being better at Isaac is risk assessment the evaluation of whether or not you're going to be able to handle stuff like that we know what's coming our way if we end up going to fight lamb and uh, and Satan and honestly all this tears rate ain't it Seventy-five percent chance for a deal with the devil now. Oh, that was a quick bur burl, burl, quick burrow. My uh, polycephalus there. Usually he he delays for a little bit. Now, this is another bad room for us. Especially when the pink champion tried to get a little, a little fresh with us there. That little tiny shot. You do get lost soul back, which is good, or your soul, I mean. Probably won't need money at this point, but you never know. And now this is where Brimstone and Polyphemus really shine is a room like this, where you have multiple sort of tough enemies to go through 
and uh, pierce through, but not a lot of tears. We want to take out as many of them as we can in one swath. Excuse you. This is where Polyphemus Brimstone really, really, really helps out. Now, if we had the regular Holy Mantle, like, I would totally, totally go fight Lamb and stuff. But even on a victory lap, I don't, I don't know. It's not that this, it's not that this run wouldn't be able to smash the entire game. Um, it's just that it's going to be, it's pretty much going to be very samey from, from here on out with, with Brimstone Poly. Unless we get something crazy like Tech X or, or C-Section or something. I mean, the, the, what you see is what you get right here. Wizzy, Wizzy Wig. Old technical term. Mind getting flying, some movement speed. What? Okay, bro, how are we still in this room? Thank you. Lover's card does absolutely nothing for us. I delayed there that shot just for a hair because I wanted Skolex to at least get clipped by Brimstone. Yeah, we do get a Tears upgrade. And I will take Sulfur, which is going to give us two or three for Leviathan. And actually, the, the Nail, I believe, will give us Leviathan. Yeah, it did give us Leviathan. Cool. Um, I think the Nail would be better because we have the four and a half volt, and we do a ton of damage. So we should be able to get multiple pips here per room, assuming that there's enough uh, enough targets to uh, to deal damage to. Oh, where that the walking host is fired at the other walking host. A little bit weird. My God. My God. Did we did get quite a few of the of the pin with the steel chair flying at Isaac memes uh, the other day? And that one hit from Black Pin where. Just right next to the door. I mean, he came out like a bat out of hell, man. Like he was he was moving. Don't care about the swallowed M80, although it is a it is a trinket that we've we've had some fun with in the past. There's a little there's a little short short wick troll bomb there. Get our full charge on the nail. Just gonna slow us slow us down, but give us a lot more damage, and also, of course, give us that very, very, very crucial half soul heart. Um, and I say that I say that like unironically. I mean, it's it's pretty important that we are able to get some kind of HP generation going here on this build. I mean, Poly Brimstone, what, what more can you say about it? Other than that, it's fantastic and super strong. And this one was pretty much pretty much handled from the word go. Although, one thing I will say about Polyphemus is back in the day when I did used to... I tried to race Isaac every now and then just to see, like, how it would do. I'm like, I know about the game. Like, I could probably be okay at it. Uh, and uh, I mistakenly took Polyphemus as my starting item. Don't do that. If you're trying to go for speed, don't take Polyphemus as a starting item. It is not a good idea because it is a very, very, it's very powerful, but it needs to be, you, you can't think of Polyphemus as like, you can't think of it as a tier effect. You need to think of it as a damage booster. It's not something that's going to be able to carry you without having the ability, without being paired with something else. Like, like I said, Brimstone, Mom's Knife, Maw the Void, um, that's where that's where Polyphemus really shines as a damage multiplier, not as a tier as a standalone tier effect that can like you know save you or carry you or anything like that. You don't get a deal with the devil there, unfortunately. You st unfortunate, but you did see the lead pencil shot at the end.
And you know, I appreciate the I appreciate the nice easy easy start today game. It's it's a nice change of pace from what we have been seeing on Monday runs. Getting some case of the Mondays here. Not today. Today has been a today's been smooth sailing. They're seeing the value there four point of uh, the the four and a half volt sort of multiply the uh, the amount of energy that we get in our space for item very very quickly. And hey, look at that, we even get an emperor card. See the game. I mean, hey, the game is listening today. I appreciate it, game. It's been a it's been a it's been a very long and hot weekend, and I'm I'm ready for I'm already ready for winter. Please. We need, we need some of that Australian Australian winter weather here. Because it's like, I don't know what the temperature is outside right now, but I know earlier it was 103. And, man, the, that's that's for the birds, man. No thank you. Tendon rock up there. There's a tendon, ro There's a tendon rock up in them there woods. Look at that, maxing out our HP. We had a an amazing run yesterday. If you didn't see yesterday's run, by the way, that title was not clickbait. Definitely go watch Random Run Day from yesterday, because man, it was absolutely incredible. It was absolutely the run of the year. It wasn't it wasn't the flashiest run, but it was definitely the most impressive run that I have seen this year so far. Anyway, I think that with that, I don't want to spoil the synergy just in case those of you who haven't seen it still have not seen it yet, but. There's a reason why people were talking about it. <laughs> because that it was a very, very, very surprising synergy. A tr it was a triple synergy. We had, th it was a week of like of, of many different synergies, but this one in particular from yesterday was was definitely the keeper of all of them. I mean, it was, and that's not a that's not a pun. We didn't play the keeper. We played as Tainted Lilith, but yeah, I mean that that episode was absolutely it was unbelievable it was it was incredible um we get giant cell hallowed ground book of shadows why not we'll end it all here so nice quick easy run today and uh, honestly I, I could use it i could definitely use it i need to get some stuff done so we will take it thank you for watching everyone i mean this run was absolutely handled from the very start and uh you know i i gotta say thanks to the game we we had a nice Incredible run yesterday. By the way, 2020 apps just destroyed our tears rate. Like we went, we we went from bad tears rate to very mi mildly mediocre tears rate. <laughs> Imagine someone saying that about your child. He's mildly mediocre. Probably not go back to that teacher ever again. But anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great start to your Monday. And yeah, it was super quick and easy, simple run. I'll take it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you didn't click the dislike button, either way supports my channel. Let's keep that like streak going, everybody. This video was short enough to where I think you can watch all of it and appreciate it, especially for Brimstone Polyphemus. So click that like button, leave a comment down below, and as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like Aaron Dale Heal, Julian LaFond, and Railgun. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Sinvicta.